Hi everybody, this is Chaz and Lulu from Retro Nirvana Gaming and today we're doing the fifth Wheel of Nostalgia video and this video is going to be all about Street Fighter Street Fighter games. Yeah, let's go. So here we go, we're going to go right to the selection. Hope you enjoy. Okay, here are the entries into the Street Fighter Wheel of Nostalgia. We have Street Fighter 2 Turbo, Super Street Fighter 2, Street Fighter Alpha 2, Super Nintendo, Pocket Fighter, Street Fighter Alpha Warrior's Dream, PlayStation, Street Fighter Alpha 3, we have Street Fighter 3rd Strike, my favorite game out of the Street Fighter series, and Ultra Street Fighter 2 Final Challengers. Okay, here we go to the wheel. Okay, we're gonna spin the wheel and pick three Street Fighter games to play for five minutes. Here we go. First pick. Mm hmm hmm. Ooh, Pocket Fighter. This one's gonna be super fun. I love that game. All right, next one. Super Street Fighter 2. That's a good one. All right, last one. Hopefully get some Alpha games or Street Fighter Third Strike. Ah. Oh, just barely squeaked in. Street Fighter Alpha 2. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we're going to start off with five minutes on Pocket Fighter. Then play Super Street Fighter 2 for five minutes. And last but not least, Street Fighter Alpha 2 for five minutes. Then we're going to do a quick reaction, and that'll be it. Okay, so first game is Pocket Fighter. Here we go. So this is a more chibi style Street Fighter game where you collect gems and do special moves and it has a very Japanese anime feel to it. Which is really cool actually. I like it. It's definitely non-traditional in the Street Fighter series. So yeah, you collect these giant gems and there's like So I've never played Street Fighter before, so <laughs> You're doing pretty good. See, as you see, you get hit and you start bleeding gems. And she has a frying pan. That's silly. She's yeah, like, she has like a nurse too. Uh, yeah, it's a cool game. With the needle, that is silly. Okay. So you get some cake, slices of cake and stuff. There you go. Cool. Yeah, Morgan, she's from Darkstalkers, so yeah, she's good. Oh. <laughs> so you can use your, what's it called, attacks too, so you can use your, like, Some of the special moves are actually really cool. <laughs> you did pretty well there. <laughs> yeah, so good music, um, good graphics. This game is kind of not super common anymore. And so it is actually on the Capcom Fighting Collection. So... And so if you want to play it on there, you can play it on there, and it's actually more affordable than actually buying the game separately on the PlayStation. Choose somebody else. Oh. So now you got Felicia. She's also from Darkstalkers. 
<laughs> and uh, cool stages in this um, game. Some good variety of stages with different um, Capcom characters. Like in this one, you have E Honda and DJ and Cammy in the background, along with Charlie and uh, Guile. So if you're a big Street Fighter fan, this is like a must own game, especially if you love Capcom games. So I definitely recommend this to anyone who absolutely loves Capcom games. <laughs> Mighty finish combo. <laughs> he does to hit you with a stop sign, I think, is one of the things that... Yeah, so the gems come out in the little treasure chest, and you can kind of get, like, more powered up. It's almost like Power Stone a little bit, but two-dimensional in a, in a... Yeah, in a Street Fighter... I mean, they're both made by Capcom, Power Stone, so the same sort of, like, concept. Yeah, backgrounds are really cool, great characters. Yeah, I like... Good variety of, like, between Street Fighter and Darkstalkers, so it's, it's pretty cool. Yeah, if you don't press start, it goes straight to uh, arcade mode, so yeah, that's how that works. Um, Alright, so I am still locked in as uh, Ryu till I lose, apparently. Oh wait, maybe not. Oh well. <laughs> and okay, that's it on that one. Go to the next one. Alright, so here we go with Super Street Fighter. We're going to do a versus battle. I'm going to play as Cammy. Oh, I was going to play as Cammy. <laughs> All right, you play as Tony <laughs> Lee then. All right, here we go. Front kick. There you go, that's it. <laughs> Thunder size over here. Yeah. Which one? <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. Getting the hang of her. Kick. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Chun Li wins. Ha 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 ha. Yata. Uh. Front kick. Front kick. <laughs> it's funny how she has to say it. Like, uh. Spinning bird kick. Yeah, front kick. Ah! What is that kick? I love that move. It's like this. It looks like a screwdriver. She got a major wedgie, man. <laughs> yeah. You gotta be uncomfortable when you're doing them kicks. I would. I would think so. <laughs> Let's try. Who are you gonna take? I'm biting. I'll do Ken. Yeah, so Super Street Fighter is um, great because it has. Um, it lets you pick all the boss characters, which is really, I think, really cool. So it's basically like an upgraded version of the regular Street Fighter game, Street Fighter 2, and has. I'll show you, it's a more like upgraded version of Street Fighter 2 Turbo with... What's that? Oh, 
Bison. Not M. Bison, just Bison. Just Bison. I love the music in England. This is a great stage. Scissor. <laughs> Crows. All right. I could use. Let me use. Hmm. Mega. Gotta use my favorite character of all time, Ryu. in every Street Fighter game, I believe. All right, let's see. Let's do Jamaica. That one's a fun one. Jamaica. Good music. He's on a sandals vacation here and, like, having a fight in the middle of sandals. Ouch. You and your are a duke. <laughs> Kick me in your face if you're a duke. Yeah. Duke in your ass. Behind Vega. It's actually a guy who's a Spanish fighter. It looks like he has Wolverine claws. Yeah, it's very interesting. And that he can climb the wall in that Spanish stage and jump off and hit you. So that is it for Street Fighter Super Street Fighter 2. Okay, here we go. This is Street Fighter Alpha 2 on the Super Nintendo. And here we go. So I'm going to play as Akuma. Well, let's see what stage we want to do. Let's do the Air Force Base. Right, so we pick Brazil. Akuma versus Sakura. Sakura. So a little bit of load time because this is a Super Nintendo game. But yeah, pretty amazing game. A little load time right in the middle here, and then it starts. Does not play as well as the one on the PlayStation 1, but it's still pretty amazing to play on the Super Nintendo. This is definitely kind of a sought after game on the Super Nintendo. Graphics are nice and clean. Okay, oh. So is this a game pricey on the PlayStation? On the PlayStation, um, it's not too, too bad. I mean, it's probably up there with Alpha 3, Street Fighter Alpha 3. Um, maybe like $30, $40 range. I haven't actually checked the prices in a while, so I'll probably post that in the, in, uh, in the video. But um, it is definitely a sought after. All these the alpha games are definitely all sought after in terms of PlayStation collectors. And uh, this one is, you know, on Super Nintendo, plays pretty well, as you can see. So there's some like mega moves you can do with your meter. So. Yeah, so I had a level two uh, meter up there, so I was able to use a dragon punch there with Akuma to finish her off. Uh. <laughs> okay. I'll play as Chun Li this time. Who's Rose? His Italian uh, character Rose. 
Let's try this one. USA. It's like a giant truck level. Yeah. So it's like in the middle of like Nevada or something or Arizona. Hmm. A little bit of load there. And here we go. Yeah, Chun Li, they definitely redesigned her from the original series. She has more like a very athletic look in this one. She was like looks like she's wearing like gym clothes or something. Yeah, she looks very different. Is, she does. She looks her different. Hair even different. Her hair's different. Um, you can tell they put more like emphasis on her legs. It has a uh... Yeah, so this is where they kind of introduced a whole lot more, like, characters into the series that were never in the original, like, Street Fighter 2, Street Fighter 2 Turbo, Super Street Fighter. Um, and so this is where, like, Alpha is where, like, they add a lot of characters. But you can see a lot of the influence with Marvel vs. Capcom comes in finally. So you have that very, like, anime-looking style of Street Fighter that Capcom is known for now in all their awesome games. It all started with Street Fighter. <laughs> pretty cool stages. I gotta say the graphics are pretty nice. Yeah, I like the Alpha series. They had um, one collection of all Alpha series games on the PlayStation 2. And so there you go. That's a taste of Street Fighter Alpha 2. Okay, so we're going to do a quick um, reaction to the three games. Uh, so first one was Pocket Fighter. What did you think about this game? Well, so this is the first time I'm playing Street Fighter. I've never played Street Fighter before. And to pick up this game as the first, it is awesome. It's fun. It's light. It's it's not like crazy fighting. It's really, really cute. And it's, it's just a lot of fun. A lot of things going on in the background. And a lot of cute little abilities that you have um, that the other games didn't seem to have. It's, it's, it is a lot of fun. It's, if you have never played this kind of game, this is probably a way to start into like a fighting game or into Street Fighter yeah. as well. I agree. It's um, it's a very lighthearted game. It's a great kind of first entry into the um, into the Street Fighter series. It is it plays really really well on the PlayStation. There's almost no load time whatsoever. Um, the graphics are beautiful. I mean, it's rendered very very well. Yeah, I, I say this is a, a gem. Um, this is actually called Gem Fighter in, in Japan, so it's called Pocket Fighter in the US. I'm actually really glad it came out in the US, and it is a game that i played with friends for many, many years on the PlayStation, and so uh, this was even before I had any alpha games. So I played Pocket Fighter for many, many years, and I knew it was a, a real gem. And so I'm really happy to have this one, and I really do feel like this might be the best one on the PlayStation, honestly. Okay, so then we have Super Street Fighter 2. What did you think about that one? That one was fun. It was fun. Um, it's just like, I don't know all the moves and everything, so yeah. I quickly picked up some of the, the different moves, yeah. the punching and kicking, and then once you get to know that, then you get better at the game. And it was fun just seeing the different stages and everything. Yeah. So I had a lot of memories with this one, um, Super Street Fighter 2. So this is a game that actually one of my one of my friends on, on my school bus had, and uh, we played it with him, he came over, we played it, and I remember uh, being like, wow, all the bosses are in this one, and it's a faster version of the original Street Fighter 2, so it's it's a little bit sped up version of, of, of Street Fighter 2 Turbo, but it also has the bosses, and so this one plays really smooth, it's probably, on Super Nintendo, it's probably the one that plays the best out of all of them, and so... It's almost like the definitive Street Fighter 2 experience, except for the one that came out on the Switch, which is much, much later on, they came out with Ultra Street Fighter 2, 
But um, I think at the time in the 90s, this was definitely the best Street Fighter 2 mm -hmm. game that they came out with for a very, very long time. So yeah, happy to have it. Fun game to play. Um, it's a good entry in the series. I mean, it's not the best, but it's certainly pretty solid. What about um, Street Fighter Alpha 2? What did you think about that one? So that one, I believe you took out of the plastic, Yes. Right? So I think that's a little bit more uh, special, so, so tell me why that's more special. It is special because actually, yeah, you can see on the bottom here, it has a different chipset on the Super Nintendo. So this has additional uh, chipset, kind of like how Mario RPG and how Star Fox have extra stuff on the board. Um, this is like a, a very special game in terms of like the way they fit this game into a cartridge is probably spent more money making this game than they, than they would a standard Super Nintendo game. The other thing is this game is not easy to copy so you don't see a lot of reproduction copies of this game. Same thing with like rare games such as Mega Man X2 and a Mega Man X3. So uh, yeah, this one's pretty cool uh, and then they basically fit a they fit a PlayStation game onto a Super Nintendo cartridge. That's basically what they did because yeah. later on they came out with it on the PlayStation 1 and obviously it's much the technology was much easier for them to, to, to play a game like this on a PlayStation 1 where you have tons of space on a CD versus you have only a little bit of megabytes in storage on a Super Nintendo cartridge. So. Other than that, it plays pretty oh, well, yes. right? Oh yes, it was it was a lot of fun. There's a little load yeah. time. A little load time. I'm but like... it's a lot of fun, similar to the other games. And it's fighting and the characters are great. Yeah. So it's nice to to go from the different Street Fighter games. You get a different feel, even if you're playing the new ones now. I mean, a lot has changed between the graphics, but yes. it still has you know it has that charm, and you have the characters that. The ones that stay throughout the whole series, you know. Yeah, so you have your staples, you have your Chun Li, you have your Ryu and Ken, and then you have some other Street Fighter characters that have stayed through the years. And then you have all like the Alpha series was like kind of like a new introduction to brand new characters. So you started adding in a whole bunch of different brand new characters, and you start to learn their storyline and everything like that. And so it's a it's a nice little take on on Street Fighter. I mean, I do enjoy the Alpha series. I think it's a lot different than all the other Street Fighter um, mainline series games. And so I enjoy having that along with the, the regular series. So. so out of these three, your favorite? My favorite is, uh, no surprise, Pocket Fighter. Um, <laughs> Mine too, out of these three. Yeah, it just, it plays so smooth and it has like some cameos from Street Fighter characters and love the stages like the music is phenomenal i love how they kind of mixed dark stalkers with street fighter so out of all the street fighter games that you've played on all consoles would that be your favorite or do you have another favorite that you um i actually do have another favorite pocket fighter is near and dear to my heart in terms of like you know it's it's a it's a very chibi style game it, it, it kind of reminds me very much of like what capcom is all about which is light-hearted fun and yeah. so, um, it is, I would say, may maybe my top three, but then I would say that my favorite Street Fighter game is still going to be Street Fighter Third Strike, because it has very clean graphics, anime style, amazing music, great stages, and I mean, I would rate this game a 10 out of 10 on Dreamcast. Um, yeah, it's just phenomenal. I mean, the, the art style is, for me, a 10 out of 10. So, out of, out of all the Street Fighter games, that's my favorite, but um, Pocket Fighter is pretty amazing for what it is. Yeah. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, what is your favorite Street Fighter game? Yeah, let us know in the comments below. Also, we will be doing a special Halloween month coming up October, so any video games that are Halloween related, yeah. we'll be doing a little nostalgia and pick out uh, the, the Halloween games to share with you. Yeah, so we're going to do several of those during yeah. the, the week of, during or the actually the month, month of, of October. October. And so we hope you guys look forward to that. Subscribe if you enjoy our, our channel. Video. Yeah, Thanks and video. Uh, so you can get notified for new video, upcoming videos. Alright, that will be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.